Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Most Wanted video. This time we're talking about the top five most wanted Marvel Legends for the Disney Plus Moon Knight show. And guys, this is a spoiler alert. There are some facts in this video. If you haven't seen the show, then you will see some characters that you have not seen before. First off, let's talk about what Marvel Legends have already shown us off for the Moon Knight show. So here is the regular Moon Knight version from the show. You do see he comes with one moon, two sets of hands, fisted and kind of gripping. And of course he's got his cape and his cowl on there. Really cool looking figure. And then the second we have is the suited version. So as you know, if you've seen the show already, then you know that we have Mark Spector and we have Stephen Grant. So two different versions. Mark Spector is the American version. Stephen Grant is the British version with the suit on here. So there you see he comes with two billy clubs. Again, gripping hands, fisted hands, and a Ultron build a figure arm. So we're talking about what way this actually comes in. So there's those two figures, and as you see, the regular Moon Knight does not have any build a figure pieces, but the suited body does. I guess that's telling us that they feel like this Moon Knight figure is going to sell more than any of the other figures in the Wave if they're going to put it without a Build-A-Figure piece. So who is that Build-A-Figure Wave? Well, it is the Infinity Ultron from the What If series. So very interesting that they would go with that instead of something from the Moon Knight or Hawkeye show that went way back with last season's uh, Disney Plus shows. So there's those two. And then we have the two figures, Hawkeyes, Kate Bishop and Clint Barton from the Hawkeye show. So I've got another leg and an arm there. So that is not the whole figure. We're missing an extra arm, a torso, probably the head and the staff there, and the cape. I'm not sure how else I want to come. So we will see what actually comes in this wave. But there are the packages of the figures so far, those four figures that Dan, Ryan, and Dwight was able to show off during one of their live streams. So there's those in package. And they did not show us the back. They did show us the back, but they did not show us what was actually in the back of the package or on the back of the package to show us the figures in this wave, the other figures in this wave, I should say. And as I'm looking there, I actually do see that there in the Moon Knight figure are two moons, not just one. So he does come with two moons and the extra hands. So that's pretty cool. So here's the spoiler, guys. If you hadn't seen the show, if you don't know anything about the show, spoiler alert, stop the video right now. Do not go any further if you have not seen Moon Knight because I'm going to give a lot of spoilers here of some characters that are actually going to show up in this show. Again, this is a top five list of the most wanted Marvel Legends I'd like to see from the show now. But they've already showed off the two Moon Knight figures themselves. And here's what else I'd like to see. So at number five, the villain himself of the movie, Ethan Hawke, played Arthur Harrow. So... Yeah, it was cool. You know, he was able to, you know, balance the scales and he got extra powers from the gods. As you can see there, his cane actually has the crocodile heads on it right there. Uh, so very cool role that he played there. He's actually able to play several roles because uh, when Stephen and Mark went into psychotherapy in the in the dead zone or whatever you want to call it, uh, he actually played the doctor role too. So very cool that he was able to actually jump into two different uh, iterations of himself in this show. So that's my number five. So at number four, Layla, she was pretty cool in the show, um, but then she got to be have an avatar and she became the Scarlet Scarab. So you got the wings there and the swords. So kind of a cool costume. Kind of wish she'd have had a mask as well, but she didn't. She had her hair all flying there. Um, but that is a very cool costume with those wings. So Scarlet Scarab, that would be my number four for the Moon Knight show. At number three, when this hippo showed up, I was like, what? What is going on here? This is crazy. So yes, we got, and I'm going to mispronounce her name probably, but it's Ta Tawaret, I believe is how she pronounced her name. Tawaret. 
Haret. So forgive me there, but uh, she had to get the two hearts of Stephen and Mark to balance on the scales uh, and was not able to do it. So they were damned to the um, underworld or whatever in the Egyptian uh, stuff here. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, female hippo, pretty cool looking. Definitely something, a massive figure that you'd get as, in my opinion, could have been a great builder figure. But there's others that could have been a builder figures in this weight as well. So maybe deluxe? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with this stuff. Number two, we got Sobek, which is our crocodile. This guy, female again, is massive. So really cool uh, that this showed up in the show as well. Sobek. There she is sucking in all the energy from all the dead souls of people that were not worthy. So really cool. And then at number one, we got Khonshu. So Khonshu showed up out of the blue and just was really cool looking. I don't know how they do the floating head, but oh my goodness, this was a really cool looking. Uh, what in my opinion, I was like, where's this figure? Why do we not see this figure yet? So yes, Khonshu is definitely you know something from the comics that we saw again with the floating head and the suit. So I would definitely love to see a Khonshu figure come out for this Moon Knight show. There's my top five, guys. What do you think? If you've seen the show already, is this what you would uh, want to see in Marvel Legends? Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to see for this particular Moon Knight show? Do you want to see a season two of Moon Knight? I believe we have to get one. What do you guys think? Oscar Isaacs did a great job playing both roles. And actually, he's got a third role now that you see the after credit scene of the last episode. If we had seen a better image of him in his black costume, I would have loved to actually seen that in my top five as well. But this is my top five. For Moon Knight and Disney Plus shows, let me know what you guys think for Marvel Legends. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you're already. Hit that thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.